Porsche has actually showcased their AL51 engine, which is going to be powering their uh, SU57 stealth jet. They unveiled it recently at, at China's air show. Uh, here's the thing. This engine... It, the development of it faced a lot of hurdles from sanctions, budget constraints, et cetera. But this is a powerful engine with some pretty impressive capabilities. Obviously, there's going to be some challenges here, but you've got thrust vectoring for uh, agility in combat, which is going to be huge. Uh, yeah. Having that, yeah, having that real time in combat is is a massive help. Advanced cooling, uh, reduced infrared uh, signature, lightweight design, uh, which is always going to be good from a fuel efficiency and payload like capacity standpoint. Um, then you've got digital controls that are optimizing the performance in real time. Uh, and then, of course, simplifying the maintenance or at least hopefully throwing the flag for when it's, hey, this needs to be maintained or this needs to be worked on because it's getting to the end of its its life cycle, whether it's a piece or not. So there's a lot. This, there's a lot. this is, we don't often come on this show and talk about advanced engineering achievements coming out of Russia, but true. here we are because this, this thing is really cool. I mean, it looks, mm -hmm. it, it just the way that they built this with, with the thrust vectoring, with the... I mean, it's going to be the heart of the SU-57s with the stealth, the agile, the powerful jet fighter that's capable of challenging contemporary Western air support assets. I mean, yeah, this which thing is, is the actually, Raptor, isn't it? It's the it's 22 really Raptor cool. that they're going to be competing with because that's got that thrust vectoring going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's cool. I, I I mean, I think this thing is, is a really cool achievement in engineering. Yeah. It is. Um, yeah. I mean, full full props on picking up on the thrust vector because that's that's the big one on this because that's how it competes with a you know, fifth gen Raptor. Yeah. Um, but the the main challenge I think for this one isn't just your kind of aftermarket maintenance. It's going to be that long term operational reliability and sustainment under very real combat conditions. I mean, I think mm -hmm. things are getting closer and closer over in Ukraine and things like that, aren't they, these days, especially launching long range into uh, to Russia as well. So this is by no means a hangar queen. It's it's meant for serious dogfights. Mm -hmm. So making sure that AL-51 can maintain peak performance and survive repeated high-stress missions without becoming a maintenance nightmare, that's the big challenge for me. It's that long-term sustainability. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, think, I think you're right there because, as I mentioned, this design is really cool and the, the way that the maneuverability is going to be able to happen is pretty much not what you would expect from your general like aerodynamic ways we think stuff works because of the the redirection yeah. of the thrust so it, you're right it's designed for dog fights it's going to have all the hydraulic and the mechanical linkages it's going to have you know it, it shows precise engineering but mm -hmm. it's gonna have to operate it's gonna have to be reliable under these high temperatures this immense stress i mean the temperatures are going to exceed a thousand degrees fahrenheit I mean, that's hotter than Texas gets in the summers, which is hot. <laughs> so, you know, talk about the need for some good quality control, some good testing and some good ways to make sure that this stays functioning in the aftermarket maintenance. Mm. Yeah, I I mean, full marks to them. For, 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 you know, they've, they've fronted up to supply chain issues, probably budget constraints. They, they ain't getting any richer these days, are they, uh, <laughs> Russia, with all the uh, sanctions that are all over them? But, yeah. I mean, it's impressive they got it working. But, but what happens when that engine has to prove itself day after day, heat after heat, um, as you say, 1,000 degrees, keeping it battle-ready without endless downtime? That's going to be, for me, the showstopper. I mean – Unfortunately, we're on the same page because yeah. we're, we're, we think that what you've got to do here is find a way to ensure maintenance quickly to ensure efficiency of that maintenance and to make sure all this is done cost effectively because if it costs too much to keep it running, yeah. it's not worth it. So yeah. how do we do this? Obviously, going back to requirements, which we, we always start with, right? That's got to be huge. And I think mm -hmm. that even in the design phase for this product, you've had to look at thinking about the aftermarket in the product design because you know how how stuff is going to have to be maintained and and uh, repaired and all of that so you've got to kind of have the design having prepared for what's happening in the aftermarket 
And I'm absolutely going to give them no idea how I'd solve that problem because they're the enemy, aren't they? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Go work it out. <laughs> They'll work it out. <laughs> we had to. That's right. <laughs> You can figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I would bring in some AI, but I don't know if is AI. Yeah, AI is over there because they're just busy hacking our election, aren't they? So I guess they've got <laughs> AI over there as well. That's right. That's right. You yeah. know, you used a term that I uh, that I was not uh, familiar with, and that's hanger queen. But out here in Colorado, we've got what we call mall crawlers, and those are the jeeps that people don't use to go off roading. It's kind of like why would you buy a jeep and then not go off roading with it? Why would you? build a massive engine with thrust vectoring <laughs> and not flight and dog. How about you, Brian? Have you got a lot of Queens in Texas? <laughs> no, no, that's mostly San Francisco. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, touche. <laughs> Just because I'm in California. That's right. Yeah. <laughs>